hey guys welcome in this section we are going to be able to upload banners and retrieve banners from our cloud faster database okay now to do this first of all what we have to do is within the bias folder directory and then the nav screens folder and then the widgets folder we are going to create a new file and we can call this file banner underscore widget dot dot okay and over here we can create a stateless widget and this is going to be banner widget and over here we need to highlight and use control and dot in order to import the material the that package and default you can see we are basically returning a container widget and what we can do is we can give this container a height that is how long or yes how long is gonna be we can give this a height of 140 and also we can give this container a width that is how wide it's gonna be and what we can do is we can get the width of our screen that is we want the container to take the full weight to do this to get the width of our screen all we just have to say is media query it's of contest dot size then dot width and basically this will give us the entire width of our screen and remember the width has to do with the wideness and the height has to do with the longness that is the vertical form and the width has to do with the horizontal form okay and now in order to have access to some additional style properties the container has we can then have the decoration and then the box decoration class okay and within the box decoration it has a property known as color and default remember our scaffold has a background color of white so in order to see this we can say colors dot maybe yellow then shade of now red okay use control and so save and back to the home screen and we're just going to import that over here banner screen you can see we have a widget known as banner so we can just go with this one we just created so hopefully you, you did not create yours as banner s is going to conflict with that okay banner and waiting for this to auto reload okay i'm just going to save this file and you should see it somewhere here yeah? okay still waiting for this okay you can see it over here and you can see the width is taking the full screen and the reason for this space is because of this pattern we have now what we can do is we can get rid of this pattern over here okay remove pattern and use control and s to save and default the width is going to take that shape and the reason it's going to take the full size is because you can see over here okay over here we said we basically want we basically want to get the width of our screen to get the width of our screen we are saying media query dot of contest dot size dot width so this will give us the width of our screen so you can see now uh it's taking the it's taking the entire width space you can see and over here you can see we said also we want to give a height to this container and we want to give a height of 140 that is from this to this okay now what we can then do you can see this is now back to the top and what we can then do is we can go to where we have that design okay we can go to welcome test and instead of wrapping it okay instead of wrapping the pattern within the arm we can then wrap it to that uh, specific welcome test we have okay over here a light and use control and dot and wrap with pattern and we do not want to give for all sides but we only want to give for some specific direction and the first side we want to give is the top 
and what we can do is we can get the screen top of whatsoever device the user is using okay this is going to be media query but of contest and dot padding and the top okay and also we can give for the left side left side of 25 and also we can go 15 from the right okay 15 and now we have to get rid of this const over here we use control and s to save and it's going to be back as number okay seems good and now you can see we do not have uh, any space for this search input field and what we can also do is back to the search input field sorry search input widget we can also wrap this with a pattern to give some uh printing space and this is going to be hall to give space for all sides maybe for thin and go see this out okay great and now we can give this banner a pattern as well okay banner widget and you can see currently we said we want the width to take the entire width screen if not we could also say we want to minus maybe 40 after getting the width we want to minus 40 from it and go see this now okay you can see we're basically minusing 40 from it okay instead of this also you can easily just say double double dot infinity it's still gonna do uh the same thing it's still gonna take the entire width screen okay okay great and what we can then do is we can wrap this with a pattern to give some space pattern of maybe 10. this control and s to save and okay seems cool i think this is okay and also we can give within the box decoration it has a property known as border radius we can then say border radius it's a cooler of maybe just 10 to give this or to make it a bit rounded okay you can see currently this shape this is way too sharp okay now you can see we have this uh it it, it is a bit rounded okay now within the container it has a property known as child and we're going to be using a widget which you've not seen before it is known as page view and the page view can take multiple widgets which are going to be able to screw uh horizontally or oh, okay you're going to see this shortly now within the page view it has a property known as children because it can take multiple widgets and the first guide or the first widget is going to be a test widget and this is going to say banner one okay we can just copy this maybe two to three more times okay copy this and paste again and this is going to say banner two for now and banner three we okay, use control and to save and you're going to see what the page view is going to do for us okay now you can see and now we can screw this way to have the banner to banner theory and you can see seems good and what we can do is we can wrap this test with a center widget to take it to the center and as well wrap this with the center widget to take this to the center and okay and hopefully understand all this and hopefully understand what a page view does okay you're gonna say it over here now okay banner this is banner okay this is banner two and banner three okay looking great and probably you can just maybe add a style for this but really it is not compulsory since we're not going to be going with this definitely images are going to be here and we're going to be able to choose or a slide into different banners